Hello, fellow brawlers. I'm Kairos Time, and it is time to brawl. It's also time for us to talk about Mortis's gadgets and star powers. We're going to break down Mortis's newest gadget coming in a few days, and we're also going to break down his original gadget and both of his star powers. Then I'm going to rank them all and talk about the best build for Mortis. We're also going to rank his skins because some people have asked for it. We're going to talk about his best pins as well. So far, we've done this for Crow and Piper. So if you haven't seen those, make sure you check them out. And I'm going to be doing this for other brawlers who are getting their second gadget. So subscribe for more videos like this one. Let's go ahead and get started. Mortis's newest gadget is Survival Shovel and can be used three times per match. When Mortis uses this, he reloads faster for the next four seconds. And when I say it's faster, I mean twice as fast. Normally, Mortis is only able to reload about one and a half shots in four seconds. With this ability, he can reload three shots in four seconds, meaning that if he already has three ammo loaded, we're talking about six attacks in four seconds. Here you can see how effective it is at improving Mortis's score in the reload test. On the left is without his gadget, and on the right is with his gadget activated, which Mortis can actually do two times before the test is over. This leads to an improvement by eight seconds, which is a huge improvement. In fact, it moves him from being dead last in the reload test to placing ninth out of the 38 brawlers in the game. In fact, during those four seconds, Mortis has the third fastest reload speed in the game, making him slightly faster than El Primo and slightly slower than B's reload speed. Now, when it comes to the race test, this leads to a one second improvement in Mortis's race time. This might not sound like a lot, but when you're the second fastest racer at seven and a half seconds, that is a big improvement. It's still not enough to beat Nani, but Mortis's new race time is 6.5 seconds, which is just one tenth of a second slower than Nani's. Now you should know that Mortis's Coiled Snake star power is not affected by this gadget, so Coiled Snake won't load twice as fast when this ability is active. One thing that's also really important to note is that Mortis cannot activate this in the middle of an attack. You must wait until Mortis's attack animation is complete to use it, or you should just use it right before Mortis attacks. If you use it before Mortis attacks and you're slow to attack, you're actually going to miss out on some time of that increased reload speed. But if you use it after an attack, it might actually distract you from properly using your attacks to get a kill or to avoid shots from enemy players. I think that most players will be better off to use this gadget immediately before Mortis's first attack, so that once they're then using their attacks, they can focus on getting kills or staying away and dodging enemy fire. But the best players will certainly master how to use this ability right after an attack, so keep that in mind. Now the real question is whether this gadget is better or worse than Mortis's combo spinner gadget. We're going to talk about that gadget and then Mortis's star powers before I rank them all and talk about which ones are actually better. So stick around for that and this is your weekly reminder that Code Kairos expires after seven days, guys. K-A-I-R-O-S, Code Kairos in the Brawl Star Shop. Mortis's first gadget is Combo Spinner, which can be used three times per match. When Mortis uses this ability, he spins his shovel around him and deals 1,300 damage to enemies up close. It's a pretty simple ability, but it is much stronger now that Mortis can actually move while he's using it. Without a super already charged, this increases Mortis's burst damage from 3,780 to 5,080 damage, which is significant because it allows him to burst down the following brawlers that he could not burst down before. Bow, Colt, Dynamite, Ems, Gale, Jean, Jesse, Leon, Max, Penny, Shelly, Sprout, Surge, and Terra. That's a significant improvement to the number of brawlers that Mortis does not have to fill his worried around, which is what makes this ability so deadly. Mortis's first star power is Creepy Harvest. With this star power equipped, Mortis heals 1,800 health whenever he kills an enemy brawler. This adds a huge amount of health to Mortis and is one of the strongest underused star powers in the game. The average brawler can deal about 2,000 max damage with a single attack. Obviously, some can do more and others can do less, but it does give you an idea that this is like Mortis healing enough to survive one or two more ammo from most brawlers. Sometimes that's all he needs to kill a second or a third brawler. And as long as the brawlers keep coming, there is no limit to the amount that he can heal, which means that in the hands of a skilled player, he can stay alive and get kills without Mortis's coiled snake star power. And this star power is insanely strong. Mortis's second star power is coiled snake. With this star power equipped, Mortis gains a dash bar, and after 3.5 seconds of charging that bar after Mortis reaches full ammo, his dash range is increased by 75%. That's close to a two tile increase, which moves Mortis from having the shortest attack range in the game to having the fourth shortest range attack in the game. Improvement is improvement, and although Mortis is fun to play, he can use all the help that he can get because he is difficult to master. And honestly, the additional damage is really nice for Mortis because it helps him get a lot closer to enemies 
if he's willing to wait long enough for it to charge up. Now let's compare Mortis's gadget and star power so I can recommend the best build for Mortis. Then we'll rate his skins and his pins from worst to best. When it comes to Mortis's gadget, I think it is a no brainer which one you should be using 90% of the time. In the three second assassin test, the amount of damage that Mortis can do with his combo spinner and survival shovel gadgets is actually almost exactly the same. Even if you expand the test from three seconds to seven seconds, the damage is still almost exactly the same. Technically, Combo Spinner deals 40 more damage than the additional attack that you would get from his Survival Shovel gadget, but that 40 additional damage is not enough to take out any additional brawlers over the damage from the Survival Shovel gadget. And on top of that, with Survival Shovel, Mortis is closer to reloading his next attack than without it. It's not by much, but it is enough to sway the favor towards Survival Shovel. But the real reason why you would want Survival shovel over combo spinner almost every single time is that it helps Mortis get closer or further away from his target depending on what he wants to do while combo spinner doesn't actually move Mortis at all. Now the reason why you'd want to use combo spinner is the fact that it is an instant gratification gadget meaning that you don't actually have to plan ahead when you're going to use it. Additionally maybe there's a situation where you'd want to use combo spinner without having to move Mortis for some reason but if you're smart with the way you play with Mortis's survival shovel gadget it is definitely the one you should play with most of the time and that is true no matter which mode or map you are playing Mortis on. I think that Combo Spinner is an A tier gadget. It's really solid, but Survival Shovel is an S tier gadget that I think players should use most of the time. When it comes to Mortis' star powers, it depends on a couple of factors. If you're playing Showdown, definitely go with Coiled Snake. Team fights are typically a little bit more rare in Showdown, especially when you're playing Mortis, so you're typically going to get a little bit more value playing Coiled Snake than Creepy Harvest. If you're playing Mortis in a 3v3 mode, it's going to depend a lot on your level of skill. I think that Creepy Harvest is a B tier star power for most most players, but for 1% of Mortis players that are insanely good, it's an S tier gadget, but most players should probably go with Coiled Snake. Myself included, I'm not a bad Mortis player, but I prefer playing with Coiled Snake because it makes it a lot easier to play Mortis versus his creepy Harvest Star power, which requires some previous skill already. Coiled Snake, I would say, is an A tier for most players, and it would also be an S tier for the really skilled players. So it's better for most, but when it comes to skilled players, they could probably go with either one and make them work out just fine. When it comes to Mortis's best build, I think the choice is really simple. The Combo Spinner Gadget and Coiled Snake Star Power is the right build for the lowest skilled Mortis players. Combo Spinner can be used as an instant value where Survival Shovel does require a bit of forethought and skill, and Coiled Snake just makes Mortis so much simpler to play. Now, the Survival Shovel Gadget and Creepy Harvest Star Power might be the right build for the absolutely elite Mortis players who can stay alive in riskier situations just because they're so good at managing their ammo and their health and dodging shots and just keeping track of all of that. But the Survival Shovel Gadget and Coiled Snake Star Power is the right build for 95% of Mortis players. And using this combo will make Mortis a much better brawler. Now, I've already argued my case as to why Mortis is not a good option in Brawl Ball, but Survival Shovel actually has me thinking that Mortis might be a decent option in Brawl Ball. Mortis is a trickier brawler to balance and this small change might be exactly what he needs to really thrive in the mode so i'm really excited for this gadget to be released and of course no brawler build is complete without talking about the best skins and pins i think it goes without saying that no hat mortis is the worst skin in the game there is a reason that the community begged for the hat when it was originally taken out of the game in fact this might be the worst base model out of all the brawlers in my opinion next i would have to go with top hat mortis it's like no hat mortis but like 10 times better because of the hat the hat is just that good guys it was actually a pretty tough call for me to choose the third best skin. I decided to go with Rockabilly Mortis, but it was actually really super close. I really like the theme a lot, and I do have a special place in my heart for this skin. The only reason why I did not pick it for Mortis's second best skin was because it doesn't have any attack or animation changes, though I do like the changes of his winning and his losing animation. For second best skin, I'm going to go with Night Witch Mortis. I know some people really hate this skin, but I actually think it's pretty funny. It's meant to be humorous, not taken so seriously. I love the Clash Royale and Brawl Stars crossover, but the real reason why I love this skin is because the attack and the super animation changes. I especially love the glowing purple circle when you use his super. And if you can get over the cringe of this skin, it's actually a pretty sweet one, but still not as sweet as my favorite Mortis skin. And that is Rogue Mortis by far. This skin has it all, a custom winning and losing animation, a sweet new set of clothes, a voice change, and that's all on top of his attack and his super animation changes. 
which look super awesome. The sand from his attack, the sand tornado from his super, it's just so cool. Such a great addition to the game. As for Mortis's pins, I don't think it's too tough of a call. The base pin is obviously my least favorite, right? I do like the thumbs up pin a lot. The blood sweat pin is my second favorite. It's kind of cool. I'm not sure how often I want to use it, but the happy heart pin is my favorite for Mortis. You get a kill, you drop that smug Mortis emo. It's kind of the perfect way to share your love to your enemies without like being too toxic, if you ask me. Although if you drop any any emo after you get a kill usually people are going to take it as like a, a toxic response either way though so this is the ultimate mortis build rogue mortis skin smug emote pin the survival shovel gadget and the coiled snake star power let me know in the comment section if you guys disagree at all make sure you subscribe for more best brawler builds like this one use code kairos in the brawl star shop and for now guys this is kairos time ticking by and we will see you in brawl stars